always fulfills the words he gives. Hey Talam guys, welcome back. Uh, episode of Myth Busting. It's a part two from the previous one I made about demons and being afraid of demons. There's a few more things I want to share about this, so this is the part two. Um, I welcome you all with my love and respects and the blessings of my Guru, His Divine Holiness Bhagwan Sri Nityananda Paramashivam. I wanted to put emphasis on, the, on two things here. Um, guru will always, is always ready to give, but we have to be in the space to receive. There's no reason why Guru would not give. He's not attached to anything and he sees the Maya, the illusion be, be, uh, within everything. So he's establishing the reality. So there's no reason why he would not want to give something that a being desires. But the being has to be in the space to receive it. What happens is sometimes we are not in the space of receiving, we are not in the right seeking, we become impatient, we become, I would say, we generate impatience, we generate frustration, we start to generate anger, jealousy, and so many life negative cognitions, low frequency cognitions. And then we start to feel that Guru has a vested interest and he does not want to give. Hare, like I said, if he gives you a sword without you having the sword training, that sword is gonna land on your head or chop your neck. So it's not good. It's like having a double-edged sword and not knowing how to use it. Most chances are after the first, oh no, I would say maybe, maybe the second or third encounter, you would have chopped part of your body because you just don't know how to handle it. So in the same way, it's not that Guru doesn't give, it's that he, he, he wants us to get into the right space so that we can take it. So it's not about Guru, it's about us, it's about you. It's about you taking responsibility for your inner space, shifting your inner space and getting where you need to get to manifest what you want to manifest. A nice story about this is also, um, I remember I was watching this, I think it was in Devonki Dev Mahadev, that series. I watched a bunch of episodes of it and I could see at some time, some demon manifests, um, he's in the lower realms, most likely in Patala, and uh, he has a plan to destroy Kailasha, Shiva and Devi and all that because I think he has lust towards Parvati, he has lust towards Devi and he wants to kidnap her. So he plans to get Shiva and all that, Anyways, I don't, I don't remember the story exactly, but at some point, it so happens that he gets the, he gets the blessing to take Shiva's Trishul because he says, if I get Shiva's Trishul, I can get whatever I want. Somehow, cunningly, he manifests the Trishul. He puts his hand on the Trishul and he stands and then he just realizes he can't move it. He can't move the Trishul, he has the weapon, but he can't use it. Why? Because he doesn't have the right inner space. How Shiva moves this Trishul like it's empty, how this demon cannot even lift it off the ground, shows that the demon is not in the space of powerfulness, he is in powerlessness. That is why he cannot handle the Trishul. Trishul is not a weapon, it is the manifestation of the inner space of powerfulness. So. That's what I wanted to share in this video is that it's not that the master is not giving, it's that we are not necessarily in the space that we want. And sometimes we're very greedy. Not sometimes, most of the time, we're very greedy. We don't have, we don't have the, the bigger picture and we're not truly interested to actually see the bigger picture. We just want something because we think that is going to save or take care of whatever problem we think we have uh, and conflicts we, we manifest in our life to remove these conflicts. Um, but it's not about that. And then when we don't get it, uh, then you start to put the blame on the guru and you start to generate, but that is just immaturity. That's just, it's a, it's a very immature way of responding to life. It's a, it's a immature conversation with life. It's an immature conversation with guru. It's an immature conversation with yourself. It is, it's not the right thing to do. So, uh, yes, that's what I wanted to share in this video. So it's not about whether the Guru is willing to give or not, it is about whether we are in a space to receive or not. So with this guys, I'll see you guys next time and have the right seeking and seek the right space so that you can receive what Swamiji is willing to shower on you. Nityananda. I welcome you all with my love and respect. Let you all open all your three eyes. Om Nityananda
para mais